back for one of our staple segments on JNN is Jacket Nation news reporter Lamari Moreno. This month, Lamari spotlights two Ferris High School teachers and takes an even closer look at the courses they teach. Welcome back, Lamari. Thank you, Claire and Cameron. JNN's Teacher of the Month are two art teachers at Ferris High School, Michelle Hunter and Amanda Davies. Ms. Hunter came to Ferris High School six years ago. During Dr. Dixon's first year as principal, Ms. Hunter represented the idea of beginning a graphic design class program with the help of an additional art teacher. The following year, FHS started graphic design and hired Ms. Davies to help with the other art classes. Today, Ms. Hunter teaches all of her classes in the Mac Lab, offering graphic design, advanced graphic design, animation, commercial photography, and principles of art and technology. Her classes are part of the Career Technology Education, CTE program. CTE allows students to learn skills and techniques that can be applied to real job opportunities in specific fields right out of high school. All of the classes Ms. Hunter teaches help students develop knowledge and skills needed for successful careers in the arts, AV technology, and the communications industry. The Advanced Graphic Design class provides opportunities for students to work on real design projects for actual clients. They learn how to communicate effectively and get the opportunity to see their work being used for promotional and advertising purposes, whether it's logo design, posters, flyers, web banners, newsletters, or ads. I teach a principles class, which is very basic, and um, meaning um, it covers just kind of basic skills that you need for high school, as well as what you would um, need in like a visual art career or any career for that matter. But um, I really like that one because it does give them a lot of different, um, it gives students a lot of different things that they can use throughout their whole um, high school career. So I really like having them as freshmen and then being able to use those things. Um, so that one I really like. And then at the very end of that, so that the second semester, then we talk about more visual art careers specifically. And it could be anything, it's whatever they're interested in. It could be like tattoo design, it could be, I always try to cover graphic design because that's one of my courses. And then um, photography is another one and then animation. So we always try to do something based on those so they can get a taste of it and then um, take one of those classes if they're interested later. They have what the professionals are using and so I try to let them know that you know um, all the time you know this is not if you walked out of here you could actually go and get a job as a graphic designer just walking out of my class. I mean you would have more experience than or as much yes. as um, a college graduate would. We have a really good time in there and we really learn a lot about graphic design and how we can use it in the real world and how it can like really really help us. She's a really good teacher, she really cares about her students. I do want to have something to do with business and something where I can actually use more of my techniques that I've learned here these past four years. I plan on being a graphic designer when I grow up. Uh, I plan on going to college, getting a graphic design degree and then from there on move forward. Ms. Davies teaches Art 1, Advanced Drawing, and Advanced Painting. Two years ago, Ms. Davies asked Dr. Dixon about adding ceramics course to the mix, and now she is beginning her third year with a ceramics class. The Art 1 course emphasizes basic art concepts and introduces the students to the elements and principles of design. Students work with a variety of 2D and 3D media, such as drawing, painting, and ceramics. Art history and art careers are also studied. The advanced drawing course expands on Art 1 skills with an emphasis on drawing from life, such as still lives, portraits, and landscapes. Students experiment with style and technique in a variety of media, including pastels, charcoal, and watercolor. Advanced painting introduces students to an in-depth study of painting techniques using acrylics, oils, and watercolor. Emphasis is placed on craftsmanship, color theory, and composition, and individual creativity. Students get hands-on experience by creating both functional and decorative pieces. They learn hand building methods and the pottery wool, surface decoration techniques, and the glazing and firing process. Students experiment with construction and design that shows their unique artistic perspective. These classes allow students to explore their talents and abilities outside of an academic classroom. Each day, Ms. Hunter and Ms. Davies work to help students find their confidence and to express their inner self through their artwork. I get to do what I love, uh, and I get to teach kids who normally would never have an opportunity to do some of the things that they do. 
They learn how to be creative and how to think for themselves and problem solve. Um, anything that they learn in here, they can apply to math, English, um, any job really. It's critical thinking. Miss Davies, she's one of the coolest teachers I've had. She's really understanding, really patient, just really laid back, and she helps us with whatever, and she's just a really great teacher. Miss Davies, you know, she's a really great person, really understanding. Um, she's always there if you have questions. Uh, she's more of a mentor to me because she's always, you know, encouraging me to do better. A big part of that greatness is the work our two art teachers are doing in the 600 hallway. Thank you for doing what you do for students. I'll be back next month with another Teacher of the Month Spotlight. Reporting for Jack and Nation News, I'm Lamari Moreno. Claire and Cameron, back to you.